Hey everyone, welcome back to the life of T and M. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary. This is a joint YouTube channel with my boyfriend. In our playlist, you'll find M's Corner and T's Corner. Under M's Corner, I post everything nursing related. I wanna add some beauty videos, everything that's really specific to me. And then my boyfriend has T's Corner and he posts everything he loves to do. So currently right now, he is doing a 90 day eBay challenge. He is an eBay reseller part-time and his challenge is almost over. I believe he has two weeks left. So we're gonna post this weekend his update. So if you know anyone who wants to sell on eBay, who's currently selling on eBay, we would love for you guys to join our challenge. Let us know how you guys are doing in the challenge if you are currently doing it with us. And I know in times like this, extra money can help out. So go ahead and check that out. Check out all his videos. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, support us, because we're gonna be pushing out more content. I know we haven't been posting a lot, but we're gonna get back on it. So for today's video, I am going to expand on public health nursing. My last video I did, if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and go back and go watch it. It was a day in the life of a public health nurse during the pandemic. So I kind of talked about what I did in my role during this time. So that's not my permanent role, that's not what I do usually, but because of the pandemic, they've actually pulled a lot of public health nurses and put them in the emergency operations center. So if you wanna know more about that, go ahead and watch my last video so you can kind of get up to speed and then come on back. So in this video, I wanna talk about public health nursing. Now, I wish I would've known about this field when I was in nursing school. I know when you're in nursing school, you have a class, and I believe it's either community health or it's public health nursing, whatever the case may be, it's focused on public health specifically. And I know when I was in my bachelor's program, they actually had a course on public health nursing. Of course, I was intrigued a little bit, but in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm gonna work in a hospital when I get out. I wanna work in an emergency room. I wanna work in ICU. I wanna work with babies. I didn't know what I wanted to do. But when I took public health nursing, I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Like, next. But then I found out that after I finished my bachelor's program that I qualified in the state of California to get my public health nursing license. And so I had applied for it when I graduated. Didn't think I was gonna do anything with it. I was like, let me apply for it. Let me just get it under my belt. You never know. It'll look good on my resume. Didn't think anything else. So then I graduated school. I was looking for jobs. In California, it was hard at the time to get a hospital job, believe it or not. I don't know if it's my area or what the case may be, but it had been like four months. I'm applying, 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 couldn't get a job, reaching out to friends, reaching out to coworkers, nothing was just landing, just wasn't my time. Well, I came across, I believe I was on some website, some job website, maybe Indeed or something like that. And I saw public health nursing one, and I was like, hmm, let me click on that. So I clicked on it and I read it and I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. It's not a hospital setting, it's outpatient, but the description wasn't very specific. And so I had always told myself, like, I wanna work in the hospital, I wanna work ER, like that was just, I thought was my niche. So I didn't know anybody who worked in public health. I had my license, I had read up on American Nurses Association, what their description is on public health nursing. I did a lot of background. I didn't know exactly what they did. I just read the qualifications and the job description and I was like, you know what, let me apply, let me just try this out. Because when you're fresh out of nursing school, you just wanna apply and see where you can get your foot in the door. And then as you start filling out different areas of nursing, you're gonna find out what's gonna stick, what you really love, what you really like. And what you thought you were gonna like may not be where you're gonna end up. So I applied for the job, I got it, and they told me, okay, you're gonna be running a clinic for STDs, and then you're gonna be working part-time at another facility. And I was like, okay, so I took the position. So now here I am in the public health nursing world and I'm just analyzing the field, trying to find out what different roles do public health nurses play in public health departments. So they have public health nurses in various community outreach programs. So if you're not one that likes working in the hospital, you don't wanna work 12 hour shifts, you don't wanna work weekends or holidays, maybe patient care isn't for you or maybe you're burnt out of patient care and you want something different. Public health nursing is that different. It was that different for me. It's Monday through Friday, eight to five, weekends and holidays off. You get to work with the community, you get to do outreach, you get to try to prevent diseases, 
chronic diseases. You get to prevent different types of trauma. And it's really cool because when you're in the hospital, you're obviously dealing with people after something occurs. So maybe they're having complications with their diagnoses or they got in a car accident, just various different things in the hospitals which you're dealing with. But when you're out in the public health setting, you're trying to reach this community before they get there. You're trying to ensure that there's less hospitalizations for things like motorcycle accidents, drownings, complications with chronic diseases. There are just various areas that you can help prevent. Communicable diseases, you can educate about drunk driving. There's just like so many things you can focus on. So when I first went in, I was in charge of an STD clinic. I can do a story time on that. But that was cool because under communicable diseases, they had an STD clinic and I was able to run it and I was able to help the people who didn't have insurance. This was low cost. People can come in and get the care that they need. So this was a prevention, but wasn't a prevention. It was a way of prevention because we gave birth control. We educated about contraceptives. We educated about STDs in general. And then we also provided treatment. We gave exams. We gave referrals. It was very interesting but it was a lot of fun and then I switched roles and I got to actually see what else was in the public health sector so what I'm gonna go into now I'm gonna actually go through the different areas that public health nurses do work in if maybe something catches your eye and you want to go in that way I just love public health nursing right now I don't know where my future is gonna take me but right now I love the hours I love the people I work with so also in this field what I wanted to say is that when you're at a hospital, you work with nurses, you work with doctors, respiratory therapists, social workers, just a wide range of people. However, when you get out into the community, you may be working with all social workers. You may be working with health educators. You may be working with law enforcement. You may be working with city managers. You work with various people depending on the community you are trying to reach. So I just wanna go over a few areas that you can work when you become a public health nurse in the public health sector specifically. So like a local health department or a state health department. So depending on the public health agency, they have different clinics that you could work. So they could have a tuberculosis clinic. You would actually be a public health nurse there working with tuberculosis patients. So you may have a positive come in. These are reportable by the state. So depending on your state, there are a list of communicable diseases that have to be reported to your local public health department. Now in that communicable disease sector of a public health agency, there are nurses working in in that department which I never knew so for communicable diseases like I said there was a STD department there's a HIV department there's tuberculosis there's immunizations and then you have just communicable diseases such as Shigella or coronavirus or West Nile virus just various communicable diseases that have to be reported there's nurses working in each of those departments working on contact tracing trying to find out where the outbreak came from educating the community about certain outbreaks it's just really cool to see a different side of nursing. You could work in teen pregnancy prevention education and help them go through the process of it. You can connect them to resources. You can make sure they're getting all their care at their primary care doctor. You can link them to an OBGYN. You can also work at CHDP, which is the Child Health and Disability Prevention Program. Under that is actually foster care nursing. So you are actually responsible for the kids at Child Protective Services when they get pulled from their parents. You make sure they get all their medical health needs, such as specialty appointments. You make sure they get a physical, they get dental done. You make sure they're connected to mental health services. You can also work at WIC, which in California, I don't know if any other state has it, but it's women, infant, and children. It's a program that gives them services and vouchers for food. And you can be a nurse in that department. Uh, you could be a nurse in tobacco prevention. You could be a nurse in injury prevention. So say your community for some reason has a spike in drownings. You would then go out in the community and you would educate on life jackets, on putting up fences around pools. You can go do home assessment. So there's a lot of things in the community that nurses can go out and assess and educate and bring their nursing expertise to the community. It also consists of either working in an office setting 
or being out in the community all day. There's different programs where you're in office, working on charting, working on getting programs together, writing policies, and then going out. Or you could just be out educating the community. You can be doing home visits. So there's just a wide range of capabilities that you can do. I really love it because like I said, it's different than a hospital, but you're still doing nursing duties. So after going over all those areas that you could work, trust me, there's many, many more. I can get into more specifics if you guys have a question about a certain program that I talked about or one that you know about that I didn't talk about, I'd be happy. I just kind of wanted to give an overview of the different areas that you can work as a nurse. So in my last video, somebody asked me, tips for new grads who want a public health job. So my first tip is to go on the website and look for a public health nurse one position. There might be different classifications in your state or for your local health department, but look for an entry level position. And so where I'm at, they have public health nurse one, two, and three. So public health nurse one is your entry level. So look for an entry level position first of all, and then network. So try to find someone who works in the public health department, a social worker, it can be a health educator, it can be a manager, it can be a doctor. If you can try to reach out and know anyone who works there, maybe they could put a good word in for you. Go ahead and apply and fingers crossed, you get it. My next tip would be for you to call the public health department and ask to speak to the hiring manager. Let them know that you just applied for the position, you're really interested, you would like to know if there's any way you can shadow someone to kind of see what the day-to-day -day is like, or if there's a nurse manager you can speak to to talk about the position further. The reason why I'm saying this is because once you reach out and you show that you're interested, they might remember your name and when they're going through the applications they will hopefully pull your name and if you get a hold of the nurse manager or the director of nursing you can let them know i'm really passionate about public health i want to know what it's about i would like to get into it i have applied and i would just like to know when interviews are going to happen is there any way we could schedule to have a meeting you might be able to get your foot in the door and if you're not interested about working in a public health department they also have public health nurses in hospitals to do infection prevention so you can also apply that way however when you're applying at the hospital they most likely want someone with experience already so if you can get into a public health department first and then get into a hospital that might be a little bit easier and then they also have nurse representatives at the state to help all the nurses in that state so for example if you have nurses in foster care they're gonna have a nurse representative hopefully at the state level now of course it depends on funding and if there's a nurse available and so many other things but you might be able to find a public health nursing job at a state level as well now of course you might need experience for that so starting at your local level would probably be the easiest another tip for trying to get into public health nursing is if you have experience at a hospital and you apply say for a local clinic so you've been working at a hospital for three months six months you're tired of it you don't want to do patient care it's not for you like I said when you get into nursing you're gonna find out some things that you thought were for you are not for you and don't get out of nursing if you started in a hospital and you hate it it's okay get into public health nursing I'm telling you you're gonna love it it is so different so if you have hospital experience like I was saying I would apply to a community clinic most local public health departments have community clinics and so if you have hospital experience you will be priority to get into those clinics you will no longer be considered an entry-level position or even if you have clinic experience you can apply for a staff nurse or a public health nurse and get into a clinic. Once you get into that clinic, you can always transfer. So get in where you can, get your foot in the door, and you can always transfer within to wherever you wanna go. If you don't get public health nursing right away, like I said, you can get a staff nurse or however your state defines the classifications, get your foot in the door anywhere, and then as opportunities open up within the system, you can go figure out what you like within the system. You may get foster care, you may not like CPS, that might be too emotionally draining for you. It may not be your thing. You may be able to go out into teen pregnancy and you love teaching those. You can go into tobacco prevention. You can go into WIC. You can go into case management for tuberculosis. So there's just various things you can find out once you get in. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd be happy to go into detail on more specifics if you find anything in this video you want me to elaborate on, but I kind of wanted to give an overview of the different areas you can work in. Because I know in my last video, I just talked about my role specifically at the EOC during the COVID. But in my day-to-day -day job, there's just so many opportunities for nurses in this department. I know there's not a lot of videos out there. When I first started, I was searching public health nursing. What do they do? What are the roles? I was so nervous and I could hardly find anything. And if I did, they were old videos and they were in different roles, not something specific to me. So I want to make more videos about public health nursing. I want to get the word out there. I want to encourage us. I want to support us. I want to just shed more light on what we do because there's a lot of programs out there that people in the community use that they don't even know there's a nurse behind it, processing their paperwork, looking at their diagnoses, thinking of policies, thinking of classes to go out and do outreach. There's just so many things happening behind the scenes that I want to bring light to that nurses are working hard for and that nursing just isn't working in a hospital. It's not just working with patients. You can do so many other things in nursing. So props to all my nurses in the hospital. You are appreciated. But I do want to shine light on my public health nurses because we're rocking it behind the scenes. Before I close out this video, I just want to say happy International Nurses Day. I'll get this video up, I hope, by tomorrow, if not the day after that. But before I close out this video, I just wanted to open up this gift that I got. So Redline Steel on Facebook was giving a giveaway. All I had to pay for was shipping for Nurses Day. And so I want to open up the gift. I haven't looked at it. I just paid for shipping for it to be sent. Give them a shout out. Thank you so much for everyone who's doing things for Nurses Week. We feel the appreciation. We thank you. So I just want to open this gift and we could take a look together. Okay, opening now. This is what I'm using to open it. <laughs> This is what I'm looking at. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see it? It says nurse life. It has a stethoscope. It's steel. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But um, they said just pay shipping and handling. I think it was like $5. And I was like, you know what? Let me do it. I hardly go for the free things during Nurses Week, um, so I did it, but oh my gosh, this is so cool. It has little holes on it so you can screw it into the wall. It's not that heavy, but it's really nice quality. It's not that thick either. Wow, it says Nurse Life, that's so cool. So shout out to Redline Steel. Thank you so much for doing this for all the nurses. I love it. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys subscribe and keep following. I'm ready to do way more videos. So comment down below any other videos you wanna see. I have more stuff coming, so stay tuned. I hope you guys are all staying safe, having a great night. Happy International Nurses Day to all my nurses. Let's keep pushing through this COVID pandemic. We got this, we got each other, we're gonna get through it. All right guys, have a good night.